hello welcome and welcome back to my channel in this video i will be talking about pigmentation dark spots blemishes and hyperpigmentation well these are completely harmless but they make our skin look completely dull dehydrated and lackluster almost 6 out of 8 women are suffering from this particular problem so i will try to cover every single detail regarding this particular topic now how can we differentiate between pigmentation and blemishes let me tell you something that if we talk about blemishes then it is caused by any kind of skin inflammation or infection such as acne pimple rashes blisters etc but hyperpigmentation or pigmentation is caused by extra production of melanin that is the result of over exposure of sun or very chilly weather Niacinamide is a very mild active it treats pigmentations and blemishes sensitive skin people who are suffering from any kind of spots or discoloration of skin this is going to be your holy grail Kojic acid is a very potent active it effectively takes care of pigmentation and hyperpigmentation although sensitive skin people are not recommended to use it directly on your face you can dilute it with a moisturizer and then you can apply it on your skin maximum thrice a week follow it up with a sunscreen tranexamic acid is an underrated skin care active it repairs the skin barrier it enhances the glow it also controls the melanin production it's an hero ingredient when it comes to treating pigmentation melasma hyperpigmentation or discoloration of skin Alpha arbutin is another mild active ingredient. It takes a few more time to show its result. It will be the best if you use alpha arbutin along with kojic acid in an alternative day. They are an excellent combination to treat pigmentation or hyperpigmentation. Azelaic acid is a good active ingredient in the skincare market. It takes care of post acne inflammation or any kind of infection on your skin. It reduces the appearance of acne marks, pimple marks or any kind of spots on your face. Well, there is a small suggestion for you. Do a patch test before using any of this active ingredient because as I said it's an active potent ingredient. So do a patch test. It may react on your skin. I have used it this didn't react on my skin but everybody has different skin texture different skin concerns and different skin type so it may react on yours never forget to do a patch test before using any of this ingredient thank you so much for watching hope you to see very soon thank you so much bye